Well, six months ago, uh, several communities of eastern Kentucky, they were wiped out because of heavy rain. Most during the sleeping hours, towns in and around the Appalachian Mountains became overwhelmed, homes swept off their foundations, and sadly, so many lives lost. One nonprofit estimates more than 2,000 homes need to be rebuilt or repaired at an estimated price tag of about $600 million. Our Marky Martin was on the ground on Thursday checking in on some of those victims and how they are doing right now. But, you know, this is a question that needs an answer that's not going to take a few hours, a few days. It's going to possibly take years. Kentucky Republican State Senator Johnny Turner is with me right now. Senator Turner, thank you for making time to speak with us. I know that we've seen how some of these folks are living, uh, some of their homes completely destroyed. Um, a number of them have said they feel forgotten. Uh, what's your response to them? Well, in some respects, uh, the federal government, FEMA specifically, uh, came there and uh, did some uh, initial looks at it and would offer people a few hundreds of dollars when they knew that uh, what the destruction was done was going to cost thousands. And these are poor people, working people, a lot of them uh, in their homes. Some of it wasn't in the flood area. We just had so many inches of rain in a short time span that destroyed so many residences and killed a number of people. And the federal government just hadn't stepped up to the uh, position where they should and take care of those people by rebuilding and assisting them throughout the rebuilding process. Now, the, the state and the government did undertake to extensively help the uh, individuals out in Western Kentucky that were in the tornadoes, but it's uh, kind of been, as I use the word, uh, slowly and but succinctly that it's been, been disgraceful what FEMA has done uh, instead of stepping up to the plate and uh, really taking care of these people that lost uh, all their properties or homes uh, and where they went in the flood zone, yeah. a lot of them. So uh, that's the position that uh, they've left us in. Well, and in terms of the federal government, uh, clearly, you know, President Biden out in California surveying damage there. Uh, one could say that what's happened in Kentucky is far worse because of the loss of life, but also the region uh, of where this flooding is. Very difficult to get to uh, a mountainous or hilly, uh, hilly terrain. Um, do you know what's being done right now? I mean, are there charitable efforts right now, local organizations assisting some of those folks who are still homeless? Well, first I'll comment on the uh, locality. Yes, the, initially we were flying around on helicopter uh, taking in food and water into areas that had got blocked, uh, that there was no way out of uh, a number of residents would be in a area where the mountain actually had slid off due to the water. And we had to uh, do that, deliver water and food to them for a while. But uh, yes, the, there are some organizations uh, that are continuing to help, but these are big dollars now. You've got most of the furniture and all those things out. Uh, we. Uh, we did in the community of Fleming Neon, which got hurt worse there in Letcher County, is an example. But it's the rebuilding process that's going to be the costly process. And uh, we had veterans associations come in from uh, all over the different parts of the, the United States and rebuild some residences. It's a slow process, but the government, federal government, could step up and get because they didn't let the tornado people go through the same process that they are the uh, flood people. So it's, uh, it's, it's a time for the federal government to really step up and do what they're supposed to do to get this problem solved. Senator Turner, uh, yeah, we hope that this interview and other conversations like it bring more attention uh, to your part of the country. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. You too. I know that uh, there are several ways that you can actually help. You can make donations for the Kentucky flood victims. victims. You can go to Kentucky.gov and also Red Cross Org. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.